Hello everyone, this is Watson and today we're going to learn how to set up a PoE security camera system for multiple IP cameras. So if we want to use a PoE security camera system, we're going to have to know what PoE is first. And PoE is the technology to transmit both power and data through one single Ethernet cable. And with this PoE, a PoE system, there's usually two parts. One part is the power sourcing equipment. The power sourcing equipment is usually the device that provides the PoE signal, which is the mix of power and data. And then there's the power device. The power device is a group or one device that receives the PoE signal and functions. In this case, in our PoE uh, security camera system, it is our security cameras. So for our power sourcing equipment today, we're gonna use one of these PoE switches. A PoE switch is a data exchanging device which has PoE features. This will receive data and then transmit PoE signals towards the end ending devices. You can see right here there are four ports right here. These four ports are PoE ports. They have a maximum power output at 30 watts each. And they can you can these two ports right here, these aren't PoE ports, they're used for uplink ports, uplink ports just like uploading data to a different device. In this case, we're going to connect our network video recorder to our uplink port. These ports have gigabit bandwidth, which is designed to transmit massive amount of data. And here you can see there's a power supply built in here with the power outlet right here. This connects to the electric outlet to receive the power. And that's basically a brief introduction of our PoE switch. This is a very basic model with four ports. And then right here on this side, this is a monitor and an NVR network video recorder. The network video recorder usually receives the data from the camera and then turns it into an image on our screen or records it into a hard drive that's usually integrated inside. And once we connect the NVR to our PoE switch, then our PoE switch connects to our power device, which is our dome camera and our PTZ camera right here. And that will basically create this simple multi-camera PoE security camera system. Now, let's walk through this whole process to see how to set it up. First of all, we have our camera connected to our NVR, and then our NVR is connected to our electric outlet. And then we're gonna connect our PoE switch to our electric outlet as well. Then we're gonna use one ethernet cable to connect our NVR to our PoE switch. So this is the tunnel, the pathway for our data to go to the NVR. Usually if we have multiple cameras, there's gonna be a great amount of data. So the uplink port is designed to process that much data. And then after this one's connected to our NVR, we're gonna connect both of our PoE IP cameras to our PoE switch. So one ethernet cable in, one to the PoE ports, one and to the PoE IP camera. And then the other as well, same procedure. It's really easy, just plug and play. There's no configurations needed, so that's an, another benefit for PoE. You can see the PTZ camera has received power and started a self-diagnosis. And shortly we should receive the image on our screen. Now you can see there are two small screens on my own monitor here. And this means these two cameras have been added to the channels already. You can add all the way up to these m amount of cameras for our security camera system. Today I'm just gonna use two. And that is how you set up a POE security camera system. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.